Bago ako magsabi ng kahit ano, nais ko munang sabihin ang obligatory na thank you, Carlos Yulo, sa lahat ng karangalan na binigay mo sa ating bansa. And now, off to the controversial stuff. Kamusta? Jay Aruga here, author of Conservative Kaba, a three-step approach to protecting the Filipino family from woke ideology available at St. Paul's Bookstore and Shopee. Alright, so let's get right down to it. Matagal ko nang iniwasan si Carlos Yulo pag-usapan sa podcast na ito. Nung naging laman ng balita ang tungkol sa nanay niya, hindi ko ito ginawang topic sa podcast. Personal na pagtatalo ito ng pamilya. Ayaw kong makisawsaw. And besides, ang pagchichismi sa buhay na may buhay ay hindi dapat natin ginagawa, lalong-lalo na sa isang tao na nagbigay ng karangalan sa ating bansa. Nung ang daming sinabi ng girlfriend niyang si Chloe San Jose sa social media tungkol sa nanay niya at yung performance ni Chloe sa ASAP, wala akong sinabi tungkol dito. Hindi ko sinabing ang trying hard ng performance niya or ang pangit nito o mukha siyang lasing. Hindi ko sinabi ang mga bagay na yon dahil hindi ganito ang tamang pagtrato sa girlfriend ng taong nagdala ng karangalan sa ating bansa. Nung sinabi ni Carlos na mabuti siyang tao, kaya siya binibiyayaan ni Lord, hindi rin ako nag-comment. It only proves na masasamang tao tayo, kaya hindi natin nabigyan ng Olympic medal ang bansa natin. Kaya dito sa latest controversy na ito, kung saan si Kaloy ay nagsuot ng crop top, You go girl. You go girl. You go girl. Go girl. At may caption pa ang GMA News na Breaking Toxic Masculinity If you watch until the end of the video, I'll tell you how to really address this so-called toxic masculinity. Pero let's go back to Carlos Yulo. Kahit pa mag-crop top si Carlos, ang totoo niyan, ang buong video na ito ay tungkol sa hindi pag-comment about Kaloy. Hindi ko sasabihin, dahil sa pagsuot niya ng crop top, ay baka nag-grow siya ng female parts na kung before the Olympics niya ginawa ito, ay malamang hindi lang sina Imain Kalip at yung Taiwanese ang mga intersex na pinag-usapan natin sa Olympics. Hindi ko sasabihin yon, Kasi matindi ang paggalang ko kay Carlos para sabihin ang mga bagay na yon. Hindi rin ako mag-speculate kung paano kaya nag-go ang conversation ng pagsuot ng crop top with Chloe. Na siguro sinabi niya na, Han, alam mo, bagay sa ito. Magsuot ka nito crop top at magdala ka na rin ng handbag. Bwahahaha! I have you under my spell. Ito pa, ribbon, high heels, t-back. Slay! <laughs> nope! Sobrang paggalang ko kay Carlos para sabihin ang mga bagay na yan. Pero ang totoo niyan, ginawa na din kasi ni Farel ang pagsasuot ng damit babae sa GQ magazine. Maging si Harry Styles at ilan pang ibang celebrities na nandito sa Feel Star Life article. All of them look horrible. Man, that's just mean. That's mean, man. Of course, except kay two-time Olympic gold winner na si Carlos Yulo. Pero let's talk about these men wearing female clothing. Isang tabi muna natin si Carlos Yulo. Hindi magandang look sa lalaki ang magdamit babae. And at this point, ano na kaya ang difference nitong mga lalaking ito sa isang trans woman? Yung isang grupo nag-identify lang as a woman, kaya nakadamit babae. Pero kung makakita kayo both ng trans woman at isang cross-dressing man na unconscious, hindi mo siguro madi-differentiate which one is which. Sabi nga ng post ng GMA News, ang pagsuot ni Carlos Yulo daw ng crop top ay paglaban sa toxic masculinity. Well, I guess, nung nagsuot ng malabini na costume sina Michael V. and company ay hindi lang nila linabanan ang toxic masculinity, pinulbos pa nila ito. Sino ba ang salamit sa na mention ang dami ng pulbos na ginamit nila sa mukha nila as makeup. Ang totoo niyan, kaya nakakatawa ang Bini B10 ni Nabitoy ay dahil in a sane society, hindi normal na ang mga lalaki nagsusuot ng damit babae. Kahit anong gawin ng woke left na pag-normalize dito. Ito yung usually na ginagawa nila. I-introduce nila ang something abnormal like men wearing crop tops at gagawin nila itong normal. Kapag umalma ka, kukuyugin ka nila sa internet, ikagaslight ka nila at mag-back off ka. Isipin mo na baka ikaw ang mali. 
hanggang sa ang abnormal ay maging normal na. Kung sabihin mong ang pangit, hindi bagay, baduy, ikaw pa yung magmimistulang eccentric na baliw kung hindi mo tanggapin ito. But you are the crazy. Okay, before we continue, if you're finding value in this podcast, why don't you do me a solid? Mag-subscribe naman kayo. Like nyo na rin itong video nito and hit that notification bell para da man-notify kayo. Siyempre, para sa ba ang notification bell, di ba? Also, ako naman magtatanong, what do you think? Dapat bang manormalize ang pagdadamit babae ng mga lalaki? Now, let's talk about toxic masculinity. Sabi nila, the Western world is structured to be a male-dominated patriarchy to oppress women. The least you could do is be ashamed of your gender. It has been the one thing that caused the suffering of many in the world. Many accepted this claim without question. Yes, there have been wars. There was the hashtag MeToo movement. There have been discrimination in the workplace. Men do evil things. But to be specific, bad men do evil things. The West took the initiative to demasculinize young boys. The American Psychological Association, or APA, gave guidelines on how to treat boys and men. In their guidelines, they mentioned that traditional masculine traits are dangerous to boys themselves and to society. So what are these traits? Anti-femininity daw? Achievement? The skewal of the appearance of weakness? Adventure? Risk? And violence. Kung ayaw niyong maniwala that they're changing the definition of masculinity in the West, panoorin natin tong video na ito. Watch. Masculine. Adjective. Having qualities or appearance traditionally associated with men. Especially strength and aggressiveness. Some of the synonyms are macho, manly, muscular, <laughs> well built, red blooded. Red blooded? My goodness. Strapping, strong, brawny, powerful. None of these really sound like me. <laughs> I think that definition is a little scary. It's too small for something so big. It's all about trying to get people to conform and be a certain way. I think that's what gets us in trouble is when we say that there's only one way to be a man. So many individuals, they try and fit, and it just gets to a point where it's too much. Where they are doing harm to each other and harm to themselves. You don't have to do that. You define your own masculinity. You define who you are. For me, being masculine is being honest. This is the body that I have. This is what I know. So to me, this is what a man is. For me, being masculine means being brave enough to be who I am. Being able to smile, being able to cry, being able to love and be loved. That's the man I want to be. What does it mean to me to be masculine? Um, it's more a question of what does it mean to be human? So you can't be more blunt than that. We can pretend that women desire feminine men all we want, but we all know that that's not the case. A vast majority of women want and need men who act like men. You just have to grow a pair and do it. Besides, walang any society na nag-survive na naging feminine ang vast majority ng lalaki nila. Yeah, that's the way I do it when I feel you. I'm not saying na walang problema ang mga lalaki. Maraming problema ang mga lalaki. Four out of five suicides are men. Mas madalas mag-drop out sa school ang lalaki kaysa sa babae at an alarming rate, mind you. Mas maraming lalaki sa kulungan kaysa sa babae. Ang mga addiction problems are mostly on men. Video game addiction, pornography addiction, drug addiction. And this is across the board. It doesn't matter what your race is, ethnicity, or even religion. There's a problem with men, and the answer is not to make men more feminine. On the contrary, the answer is to make men more masculine. True masculinity. Or as my The Sentinel PH co-host Anthony James Perez would like to put it, spiritual masculinity. But the big problem these days, like I said in the divorce episode, is fatherlessness. Maraming mga batang lalaki na hindi natuturuan ng kanilang mga ama kung paano nga ba nila magagamit ang kanilang masculinity sa tamang paraan. Alam nyo ba na a vast majority ng mga nag-mass shooting sa US ay walang ama? 
Minsan nga, mga male role models pa nga natin ang nagpapakita sa atin ng maling masculinity. Like the objectification of women. And kung mababasa niyo yung aklat ko na conservative ka ba, ang kwento ko doon ay nung bata ako, ang mga male role models ko sa buhay na nanonood ng porn sa harap ko. Alam niyo ba that the average age of exposure to porn ng mga bata these days ay 10, maybe lower, depending on which study you read. A young boy becomes obsessed in sex long before their brain can handle it. Then when they hit puberty, it becomes more of a problem. Social media don't help. It's all over the content he sees in movies, in TV, in YouTube. Everyone is doing what they can to make him perverted and a creep. The world is selling him the sex positivity message. At kahit ma-master nitong batang ito, ang almost impossible power to be chased, the culture still mocks him. I know because I was mocked for suggesting to cancel casual sex. You're weird. Nah, no. Nope. Kailangan nating baguhin ang ganitong kultura. We need to teach boys responsibility. At walang ibang magtuturo nito sa batang lalaki more than their fathers or father figure. We don't need to feminize men to fight toxic masculinity. We need men to channel their masculinity to be heroes, not villains. Are you okay? Those that will protect women. Freedom is won by courageous masculine men. Skyscrapers, bridges, and roads are built by men. We don't need to change the definition of masculinity. Actually, what we need to do is the opposite. We need to uphold it more then challenge men to live up to this definition. Not to be sexist, I'll record an episode about women soon. But for this video, I would like to call all men to please stand up. I'd like to make a toast to you. We need more manly men more than ever. Kaya, kampay! For more on spiritual masculinity, watch my interview with my The Sentinel PH co-host, Anthony James Perez, right here.